The UN peacekeeping force in the Democratic Republic of Congo, known as MONUSCO, is one of the largest and costliest in the world. It has 16,000 peacekeepers and an annual budget of around $1 billion. It has operated in the DRC since 1999. Many of its peacekeepers are deployed in Congo's east, a mineral-rich region that militias have been fighting for control over for three decades. But the UN mission has been accused of failing to stop the continued killing of civilians by armed groups. Dozens of people were killed during anti-UN protests last year. At a news conference in Kinshasa, the UN's peacekeeping chief acknowledged that people have been frustrated with the UN mission's failure to adequately tackle insecurity. So, as we listened to our Congolese counterparts, we took note of their priorities, increased support for the capacity building of the Congolese state, in particular strengthening the armed forces and reinforcing the police force. Lacroix said MONUSCO wants to withdraw as quickly as possible from the DRC, something many in the country have been calling for, but he said this must be done in a gradual and responsible way. As I said, the protection provided by MONUSCO is once again critical for hundreds of thousands of civilians. We're obviously going to continue this work and at the same time work with the Congolese authorities so that, as I said, the process of the Congolese state becoming more powerful will enable us to gradually reduce MONUSCO's presence, but to do so responsibly. Once again, I would like to stress that there must be no security vacuum which would be fatal to these populations. The UN Under Secretary General defended MONUSCO's performance so far, saying its mandate limits the help it can provide to other regional forces in eastern Congo. An East African Community military force is currently present in the region. Southern African states are also due to deploy troops. Fighting between the DRC Army and M23 rebels has displaced many in eastern DRC. The UN says the rebel campaign has displaced over one million people. Many people in the region have been asking the UN peacekeepers to do more to protect vulnerable communities and end the killings. The UN says it's trying its best to do so. Penina Karibe, CGTN.